Dart AI review. Hey there, welcome to my review of Dart AI. This is a new Warrior Plus launch, which gives you a members area with a number of different tools for analyzing websites, submitting websites um, to other sites that will generate you a backlink. So we'll take a look inside the Dart AI members area to look at the main tools and exactly um, how it works and where those backlinks come from. Before we dive into this Dart AI review, just to let you know, my name is Adam from Web Traffic Toolkit. I earn a full-time income online with digital marketing. Been doing this at home for over 10 years now, which is really cool. So hopefully my thoughts on Dart AI will help you out, taken from all that experience. And if you want to discover my top system to plug into right now for generating a realistic full-time income online, then click the link below. Click that link in the video description below. It's a complete done for you system and a really cool way to get those consistent commissions coming in. So click the link in the video description below for that number one recommended online system. So with Dart AI, it's branded itself as a tool to use AI to uh, generate backlinks for your website. So a backlink is basically another website linking to your own website and over time that supposedly um, is to put, will help boost your authority and trust with the Google search engines when other websites are all pointing at yours. And um, that can help with SEO rankings. Um, and basically the way Dart AI um, the method it uses to get backlinks is basically it's these free website analyst tools such as Alexa.com, similar sites, um, domain tool, site advisor, who is where basically most websites on the internet are on these websites and it's basically these free website analyst tools and they will provide stats on a website and then as part of um, those stats they will provide a backlink on um, their own website to the website they're analyzing. So things like similar sites Alexa um, built with um, will provide a backlink by just analyzing websites out there on the internet. Some of these stats websites will simply give you a backlink just by creating a website and it will eventually find your website whether you submit it to this or not. So these are kind of very base low level um, backlinks that are unlikely to sufficiently boost your rankings. It, it's just it's a useful thing to have. It lets Google know your website exists and that it's out there. But eventually, a lot of these sites will pick up your website on them and give you a backlink anyway, even if you did nothing. That just by crawling the internet over time, you would find your website ending up on one of these websites. So whilst I don't think it's going to immediately boost your rankings or make a huge change to your online business, it's probably a useful tool to submit your website to as soon as you've created a brand new website on WordPress as part of just getting it out there. Um, a useful thing could be to use Dart AI, run it to this free backlink tool to submit it to this these stats websites as part of your um, project um, game plan for building a new website. Um, other useful things would be to submit your website um, just to pop popular websites where you actually manually submit the link and give some social um, media details about your website just can be just part of your overall approach just to get your link out there and make sure um, Google knows about your website. I think Crunchbase might be one of the, um, there's, a, there's a big website, it's called Crunchbase or something, where that, that's quite useful to manually submit your website to. Um, I don't think this is included, but that's the sort of thing you can do as you create a new website, just to get these high um, authority websites linking back to you. Um, they've also got a number of different tools inside the members area of Dart AI. One is this website analysis tool where you can get lots of stats on a website, things like um, the content, the HTML tags, the meta tags it's using, um, the keyword density. You could learn about the site speed, um, the various different backlinks it's coming to, and just get an overview and a report back on the SEO attribute to a certain website. So this could be useful for using on your own website to see what things you could improve. Um, but this could be even better to put someone else's website that's ranking highly on Google and get the website analytics tool to tell you about the useful things, why it may be ranking and how you can replicate that for your own website. For me, by looking what works in internet marketing, I don't really rely too much on tools to tell me um, what's working, what's good to have. I just look at the search engines. And if a website's already ranking highly on the search engines, 
um, and they're not ticking all these boxes, it doesn't really matter. I'd, I like to see what's working now just by looking at the results and then replicating the sort of style they use in your own content to replicate what's working right now. Um, so you don't necessarily need to um, do as is as these tools um, tell you. There's also a number of other SEO tools, um, things like you can check your rankings, you can check the robot.txt file, you can check if things are getting indexed, you can create a sitemap. So lots of um, different useful tools um, for your website. Things like article rewriters are quite useful for rewriting a piece of content that you have on your website and repurposing it elsewhere, get it out there on other websites. Uh, you can re rewrite URLs, you can check your content and AI content for uh, plagiarism. Um, there's lots of different IP and web server speed checker type tools, um, checking keyword density. So these are quite useful tools to have. I think the typical beginner won't really know where to start with these, um, but if it's part of training as part of an overall internet marketing game plan, these tools will be useful, but the typical beginner who doesn't really know what to do will struggle to use these tools unless they know why they're using them and how it fits in to their projects. Um, but definitely some useful tools as part of Dart AI um, for people who are a bit more technically minded with their internet marketing. Um, for me, what I like to do is I focus on traffic generation and list building, just getting content out there, getting paid advertising done, focusing on getting eyeballs and clicks to a squeeze page, I'm building a list and just enjoying the process of getting more and more clicks per day from that list to proven affiliate sales pages. And it's that same simple process which has made me a full-time income online for over 10 years. And if you click the link below, click that link in the video description below. That's my top online system, a complete down you system, and a really excellent way uh, to get going, getting those realistic and consistent commissions coming in. So click that link below for my number one recommended online system. Thanks again for checking out my Dart AI review. All the best, guys, and speak soon.